Would you like to end your work day in an ideal way? You've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to end your work day in the most productive and effective way. Watch this video to the end to learn the five things I've discovered successful people do to end their work day. Hi, I'm Jo Randolph and I'm the CEO of joerandolph.com where I share with women how to become experts and leaders in the field they care about most. On this channel, I share videos on how you can get the job you want, increase your salary, and build a career doing something you love and supports the life you want. If you wanna watch videos like this, come and join me and subscribe. I post new videos every single week. Now, what I've found is that there are lots of really great tips on how to be productive, how to start your day, but I found very, very few tips on how to end your work day, which I found pretty surprising because how you end your work day does actually impact your productivity throughout the entire week. And let's think about the five steps you can take to be more productive. First tip is to plan when you'll finish your work day in advance. I think I got it partly from my mother and it was pretty clear in my home when I was growing up as a kid that at the end of the work day, I would always know when I would need to be home, when dinner would be ready around the table. And even though my mom had a job and she actually worked quite far away and she'd have to commute, there was always some consistency. And I've actually kind of brought that into my life as a wife and as a mom, to the point that my husband, he always comes home at around the same time, unless he knows in advance that he will need to work later because he has a big project or something that needs to be done. And the reason why it actually really helps to have some sort of plan on when you'll finish work is to prevent yourself from working longer than you need to. One of the things that I've found to really boost my productivity is when I know that I have to finish work by a certain time. When I have to finish work by a certain time, then I don't actually waste any time because I only have certain number of hours or certain number of minutes to get it done. But the other thing that it does is it also allows you to make time for other things that are important to you, such as family, resting, catching up on your favorite Netflix show, uh, watching Housewives, you know, whatever it is, it actually gives you the time to do all those things that are important to you and stops you from burning out. And the second tip is to batch some of your emails. One of the things that I've discovered a lot of experts recommend is actually not starting your work day answering and replying to emails. The reason being that when you reply to emails, you're actually spending a lot of time responding to everyone else's requests of you. And therefore, it actually makes it difficult to plan your work day when you have everyone else's requests of you kind of front of mind and you have your needs and the things that you really need to work on back of mind. So what I try and do is when I start my work day, I try and not read my emails and I actually try and answer some of my emails in the evening because it allows me to flag things that I need to plan for sometime in the week. I will think about when can I best schedule that. So I'll schedule that for later on in the week. So one thing you can do is to use your end of work day to reply to emails and to organize your week in advance rather than replying to emails in the morning and being responsive to the tasks that you need to do that morning. And the third tip is to plan what you'll do tomorrow. So take just a couple minutes, like it really doesn't take that long, but take just a couple minutes to think about what are three major things that I want to do tomorrow and really identify the most important thing. And when you know what your plan is for tomorrow, then you can kind of just unwind because even if you haven't completed your tasks for today, you'll know you get to it tomorrow. And the fourth tip is to write down your wins. So this is one of my favorite things to do at the end of a work day and I've actually noticed how much of an impact it makes when I don't do this. So when I end a work day, I will actually write down five things that I feel I have done well or things that I am grateful for, things that I consider to be a win. And the reason being is that when you end the work day thinking about five things that you've done well or five things that you're happy about, then you'll actually feel like, oh, it's actually been a good day. But when you don't reflect on that, at least I found that when I don't reflect on that, sometimes I'll end the workday feeling like, 
oh, I didn't get much done today, or oh, I didn't do as much as I wanted to do today. And whenever I feel that way, I kind of want to work a little bit longer and get more done in order to feel I've accomplished something. But when I make it part of my daily routine to think about five wins, then I will already feel accomplished. And that is something that you can do to feel accomplished. The final tip is to just switch off. And by switching off from work, I mean closing your laptops. I don't know what you do, but I know that there, in some professions, you actually have your laptop and you take your laptop, your work laptop with you wherever you go. And sometimes your work laptop comes with you at home. But if you're taking your laptop home, it's very, very easy and tempting. And also if you have a work phone, to check your work emails, to check your work laptop, and to end up doing a little bit work, a little bit of work. But the best thing you can do when you're ending your work day is to actually switch off. So one of the things that I love to do is my husband and I, we will actually leave our computers, our laptops, and our phones in a different room so that we aren't tempted to look at it. And once we finish work, we finish work. And sometimes we'll have conversations where we say, Honey, how was your day? Let's not talk about work. Let's talk about anything but work. And this really helps to free up your mind from work and also really helps you to really make the most of the intimate time that you have with family, with your partner, with your kids, with whoever it is that you are with, and to really make the most of other aspects of your life. And not only do I feel rested that day, but I feel so much more energized in the morning and I feel so much more motivated and excited because I've got a limited amount of time to get things done and I really try and get things done in that limited amount of time so that I can also make time for what matters most. And that's it, that's how you do it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I am so grateful you watched this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love creating videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you again next week. All right, bye. Oh, before I go, I would love to also know what's one thing you love to do to end your workday? I would love to know your suggestions because I would love to know what things make you feel good when you end your workday. Anyways, I shall speak to you soon. All right, bye.